Hey guys, it's Kane here. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you this box and checklist box, and we'll combine these two with other Windows Form components in our application. So, without losing any further time, let's get started. I will create a new project as usual. So, I'm gonna select Windows Form applications and type list this box app. So we're gonna change the yeah and press OK. First thing first, I'll just remove this. Um, we're gonna drag and drop a list box. So a list box is a container that allows us to add items in it, and we're gonna use a text box to add that items into our list box. So each time we press on an action let's say add or remove item we are be able to modify the state of the list box so I'm gonna make them a little bit bigger and change the font style yeah looks okay to me and the first thing we're gonna do is to add items into the list box so I'm gonna put the item here let's put a label Just set up the um, font style to be consistent. It's very important to be consistent in applications, so please make sure that all the font styles and everything is matching. And let's just find the text property here. Enter item name. Yeah. And I'm gonna put it in here. Maybe just put this underneath it just to show it more organized yeah and I will also put a button here and I will name this button as add item now that I named my uh, now that I given a text for my components I'm gonna name them so first one will be button at we're gonna name the list box we can name it as list box or my list box whatever you want to do with it this box I'm just gonna name it list box and this one as txt item uh, we don't have to name the label since it is only for display purposes and it's also a nice idea to change the uh, font style for our button so let's just make this Verdana 12 yeah it looks good now so next stage is to basically write something here when we run the application we're gonna write something inside the text box and whenever we press on the add button this will be added to the list in here it's a nice idea to also put an explanation here and just say list of items there you go now because the functionality will be triggered by the button mainly so i'm gonna double click on the button to type uh, the functionality inside first thing first i'm gonna create a string item and i'm gonna initialize it to this txt item dot text dot string which will obviously convert this so next thing it's a nice idea to make a validation make sure that this items length is not less than or equals to zero and then if it is we can basically show a message message box just a simple validation to show that oh you can't leave this empty you know you've got to feel something please fill the item Displayed as an error. Let's 
message box buttons OK and message box icon oops message box icon dot error yeah that will do the job so it will display the error if there is any of course and if it is not we can simply type whatever we want to type and this is the part that we're going to use to basically um, add the item into our list box so we need to type the name of the list box here which is this box dot items dot add which will add the item to the list box itself I already took the item as the item itself in here so that will be added only when the item is not empty each time an item is added we can also set up the uh, txt length item length uh, to empty we can also clear it if you want to that will also work and also focus on it now that I'm, I keep typing this because I have an object oriented background but even if you don't type this statement all of these commands all of these statements will work just fine so let's start uh, let's run this application see if we have any errors and try it out so I'm gonna type an item name let's say shoes in here and press on the add button and each time I press on it as you can see it added to the list so I'm gonna say for example t-shirt skirt shorts and so forth so every time that I type something it is added on the list next I'm gonna show you how you can remove this stuff or how you can clear an entire list so we're gonna kind of like close this and go back to the design and slightly expand this just take this one and also drag and drop a button another button in here you can call it remove selected item and remove all so not only one but two different buttons so I'm gonna name this as remove selected item and make sure that its uh, type is matching with the others so that was Verdana 12 so I'm gonna do exactly the same thing Verdana 12 maybe expand this a little bit and then copy and paste it just call the second one as remove all items make sure to give them proper button names this is very important never leave it as button 2 or button 3 so I'm gonna say button remove all and button remove selected So let's start with the uh, remove all items which is kind of like the easy one uh, we can easily uh, detect that one so I'm just gonna double click on remove all items and come into here to the button and all we have to do is to select our list dot items dot clear which will clear the entire list We can also set up the uh, um, focus after a clear process to the item itself if you want to. That is optional, but hey, we can do that. And the second one is that now we gotta select the uh, remove the selected item. So we need to obviously have a selection here. So we're gonna look into this box dot. Uh, items dot remove add and then 
we can use this box selected item or selected index so we are using remove at so I'm gonna use selected index whichever index is selected I'm gonna try to remove it so I'm gonna run this application to see how this is gonna work so I'm gonna add shoes and t-shirt and select one of them remove selected item and also add something in here skirts um, let's add something else sweat hat and pants so I'm gonna select this one remove selected item select this one remove select item and remove all items now it removes all items so these are the basic functionalities that you can complete with uh, this box so technically you can add and you can remove items to and from the list box itself you can also use this box with a checklist box if you want to do so so we can kind of like select items from a checklist box and we can add them so that is the next example I'm gonna do so I'm gonna stop this so expand this list a little bit the form and yeah put them in here and now I'm gonna try to find a checklist box a checklist box more or less work in the same way but then it has these uh, checks check this uh, checklist inside check boxes so we can kind of like check them to uh, achieve to a certain action so I'm gonna uh, first change the font size as always, font style. I'll make it 12. And the next thing is I will obviously need to add some items inside. So each time um, something is there, like, you know, we can do this in a variety of ways. Basically, you can use add, remove, and remove all, add just as we did with the list box. But another way of doing it is to iterate items one by one and add them into the form. So we can do that as well. So we can go into um, the form load and add them there. So I'm just going to name this as checklist box, double click in here and the when the form is, is basically loaded, I'm going to add some items in it and we're going to use exactly the same method as in here. So I'm going to add checklist box dot items dot add add a couple of items here such as as we said before I'm gonna add shoes copy and paste these a couple of more t-shirt jacket and pants I think that's enough And when the application runs now, this will come inside already and you will be able to obviously select them. So as you can see, shoes, t-shirts, jacket and pants are there already. You can check their state, they, they don't do anything right now, but the items are basically there. So a checklist box works exactly the same way as a list box with one distinct difference is that the items have 
uh, checkbox next to them which you can check this will allow uh, the items to be transferred from one location to the other if you want to do so so you can keep that information in a maybe in a more organized way or so forth and to do that to add these items into the list of items we're gonna actually activate the event called item check so I'm gonna stop this and go into the design select the checklist box and if you see this lightning icon here that is used for events so we're gonna select that one and find the check state for the items so we need to find item checked now where is it yes it's in here so you see this one is the one that is checking whether this item is checked or not so I'm going to double click on it and it triggers a function called checklist box item check and here we can now check the state of the item whether it is checked or not to do that we're going to write an if statement so I'm going to type if e dot new value is equals to the check state dot checked which is going to check the state of the item and if it is checked I'm going to actually add it to the list box the one that I created before so I'm going to say list box items dot add will be the checklist box dot selected item checklist box oops this one dot selected item say from the selected from the list dot to string so it will add the selected item to the this box and if it is not which means I'm gonna unselect it then I can actually remove the item so that will be this box dot items dot remove so again check this box dot selected item dot to string which is going to obviously remove the item now from my list so I'm gonna uh, run the application now to see uh, the differences. So now that I have this this stuff, I'm gonna go into here, select the shoes, and as I select the shoes, you can see that it is now added to the list. And I'm gonna select T-shirts. T-shirts are added to the list. Jacket. Jacket is added. Pants pants is added and when I unselect it it actually removes it from the list you can see that once you select it it's there and once you unselect it it will be removed from the list so you can do a lot of stuff with a uh, checklist box and this box this is just a you know a basic tutorial of how you can use these uh, components you can do much more than that I hope it was useful to you and in the next video I am going to show you how to um, organize files or we'll basically work on text files. So I'll see you guys later. Uh, thank you for watching the video and have a great day.